Greetings, this is Chanel Washington, and I'm a business and marketing strategist with RadiantLiving.biz. I help clients increase their cash flow, attract their ideal clients, and outsource like a pro. I'm also the author of Radiant Living, How to Abide, Enjoy Confidence and Abundance. And today I'm going to be sharing um, four questions that you can reflect on as it relates to setting your prices for your products and services. It's a question that I get asked a lot. So uh, let's jump right into it. The first one is, uh, how is your brand positioned? And if you know anything about the four P's, this is something that I teach about um, in my Think Like an MBA seminar, uh, you wanna make sure that your brand is positioned in a way that reflects your overall marketing strategy and uh, that you're consistent with um, everything else um, as it relates to your product, your placement, your price, your promotion. Um, and that, that's really going into another video, but positioning is key. Where can people find your products? Uh, where do you make it available? Where do you not make it available? Um, and is it a low-end product? Is it a high-end product? What is the perception around that? Um, how are you packaging and presenting it? So think about those things as it relates to your pricing. The second question you can ask yourself is, what is the cost to produce each unit of a product or service? And this is where a lot of entrepreneurs cheat themselves because they're not uh, sometimes getting the support that they need, the professional support that they need, or that's just not their strength. Uh, so they're missing out on a lot of the overhead and, ascent and expenses that go into uh, producing one unit of product and some of those examples could be your you know your internet connection fee um, your professional services uh, your licensing uh, just so many pieces that go into um, you know producing your product so make sure that you get some support and I would suggest working with a, uh, a professional accountant and that does not have to be um, breaking your pockets and you know you can reach out to me if you want to know more about how to do that um, in a way to be cost effective because it's it really can make a big difference in understanding your numbers okay so the third thing um, what are your profit margins this is another thing that you can use the support of an accountant to make sure that you know especially you know you have different products you may have a series of products like I did in a collection each product may be um, have a different profit margin depending on the cost uh, that the cost of goods sold um, that it was everything that went into making that particular product okay so it's important to know what those margins are uh, and if they are um, high enough essentially to keep your business um, profitable overall the fourth question I want to ask you, challenge you to ask yourself, is how many units do you need to sell um, over a given period to be profitable? So that's annually, that's quarterly, monthly, weekly, and even daily. Do you know what it takes to break even? Do you know what it takes to be profitable? So um, many entrepreneurs, I would say the majority of people um, may be underpricing their products. Um, and that's why they're struggling so much to um, at least break even and find a space of profitability. So, um, you know, before you just lower your prices to try to match another brand, understand what it is that you're bringing to the table, add more value um, to the product, to your clients. Uh, definitely, you know, offer exceptional client care improve your brand all around. I've talked about this in various other videos. Uh, if you wanna definitely you know, see more of what I'm sharing, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It's at Radiant Living Biz. I'm all across social media. You can find um, all the icons and links uh, to connect with me on my website, radiantliving.biz. And I appreciate your participation in watching this. I hope you can share it with someone uh, else that may find it helpful. And I look forward to connecting with you in the next video. Be radiantly beautiful.